Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, that is a lawnmower back there. Um, we are gonna be doing my part one of my clean and decorate with me and we are gonna be doing the kitchen. So I'm super duper excited. It is hot as you know what here in California, but the first of September is on Tuesday and your girl is ready. I've held out long enough, so I'm gonna start decorating for fall. I have all the stuff that I think I'm gonna use on over here. And then I think we're gonna do the dining table as well. I just am in the mood and I wanna get it done. So let me first show you everything that we have. I have it laid out on the floor here, which needs to be swept. This is a clean and decorate with me. And then I also have the stuff laid out for um, the table. But I wanna show you guys too a behind the scenes. Like when you're doing these videos, the rest of my house is a hot old mess. Okay, I'll show you. So this is all the fall stuff that I have laying out. My floor needs to be swept. That's why this is a clean and decorate with me. Look on my counter my island like what the heck a can of sparkling water and some bleach like I can't so hot mess there express look over there all of my fall tubs like girl bye all my fall tubs and then wait till you get to this area omg look at this this is the behind the scenes of a decorating video this is not all new stuff. I store a lot of the fall stuff in like bags. So look at that hot messness. And then over here, the table's cleared off that we're going to wipe down and I'm gonna wipe down all the chairs. And then that's all the stuff that I think I'm gonna use. I say think because I just have stuff up there. If I don't use it, I don't use it. So, oh my gosh. Behind the scenes, folks, hot mess express. Like I said, I store my fall things. Like I save those bags from these tubs. <laughs> but there's three tubs over there. Yeah, behind the scenes. But we are going to get started and um, decorate those two spaces. I'm excited. I have my cleaners out there. And then this I need to clear off. But I took everything off. The countertops just need like a good wiping down. This area is actually clean, just all of that. And then I have that bleach out because I need to bleach my sink. I bleach my sink, it's white, it's porcelain. That's how I get stains out. And I need to clean that because that's not cute. Um, but yeah, then all my stuff is laid out here on my dirty floor. <laughs> Real life people, but let's get started. So guys, let's get started with the cleaning portion of this video. So I am removing everything from the countertops and the change of seasons or changing decor is the best time to just do a good thorough wipe down of everything. So everything is removed from the counters. I was showing you that I am using Pure Home Multi-Surface Cleaner. It is an all-purpose cleaner and it is from a small shop. You guys know I love Target, which is such a big business, but if I can support small shops that have products that I genuinely love, I will share that with you guys. So Pure Home, go check them out um, on Instagram and they have a great multi-surface cleaner. So I am using that to wipe down everything, even the walls. I don't even know the last time I wiped down these walls, but I'm using that in a microfiber cloth just to give everything a really good scrubbing down. And since this is a multi-surface cleaner, I am going to clean this back window. Um, it gets splatters and just whatever on there, so I'm just gonna give that a good wiping down. And then I noticed that the window seal was disgusting, so that is also getting a wipe down as well. Those are just little things that we just always forget. We're human and that thing really needed to be wiped thoroughly. So after that, I am making my way over to this side and I'm gonna do the same thing, just give this countertop a good wiping down. 
I wipe down pretty frequently the spots that we can see, but underneath the canisters and all of that, I don't do it as often, and especially the back wall. I rarely ever do that, so it was much needed. And then just wiping down the back of the Keurig and then giving this area a good scrub down. are new to my channel welcome hi everybody my name is dream I am a mama of two I live in Southern California with my husband and my two children um, my son he just started his senior year of high school and my daughter is three years old she will be four in this on December 20th I can't believe it but um, yes I love to make home decor content I love keeping my house nice clean Heidi. I love organizing and doing all of that stuff and if you find those things to be motivating don't hesitate to join my YouTube family. I would love for you to be a part of our little fam here on YouTube. took me much longer than I would like to admit but it was giving me a run for my money so um, the cutting board I usually always put there I think we got that from home goods a few years back this little um, cutting board that looks like a pumpkin we got that from the Target dollar spot a few years back as well this filler is from home goods two years ago and then that glass jar is from the Target um, a few years back but I am just taking this filler and putting it in there um, it's really cute it has little pumpkins but I decided to add the pumpkins that I painted which you're gonna see that I wind up taking them out because I don't even I didn't even like the look but it kind of took me forever to figure this out but you're gonna see that's decorating you're gonna see me fiddle with it take things out remove things and it took me forever but then I finally found something that I like um, which is none of this but you will see it at the end and for my house tour I will give greater detail where I got everything I'll mention a few things now but in that house tour, I usually go over every single thing and tell you where I got it and the price, if I remember. So this area, I like I told you guys, everything that I put here, I wind up changing, but it took me a while to figure out what I wanted, but that is all part of decorating. You put things out, you take things away, um, and you'll see at the end of the video, I didn't like it, so I changed everything that was there. And even after I film these videos and my house tour, I want you guys to see if you can spot what things I changed because I'll live with it for a few days and I'll figure out a better spot or somewhere else that I want to put items. But I am putting out this soap from Magnolia Home. Um, it was new to Target and I was so excited to try it. And it's the Juniper scent and I'm just adding one of my Hobby Lobby pumpkins over there. And then in this area, I'm gonna put out my family sign that it's from Michaels a few years back in my wreath that I usually have there. And then these little burlap pumpkins, they are from the dollar store a few years back. And then another one of those colorful little small pumpkins and those are from Hobby Lobby a few years back. And I'm showing you guys sort of the finished product, but I'm gonna change things out because like I told you, this is all part of decorating. You look at it, you step back, and I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I wanna change it, put this in. And then all of these canisters and items that I'm putting out, they are from 
um, home goods. The canisters are a few years old and the tray is from summer season. It was on clearance. But um, I am loving the way everything is. It's really minimalistic. We do use our kitchen for to make all of our meals so I like it to be decorated but I don't want a bunch of clutter. Um, now I move to sweeping the floor and then I will clean the appliances and then I will make my way over to the dining table. down in the comments below have you started decorating for fall do you wait do you just skip fall and go straight to Halloween um, I was going back with my daughter's play area should I do fall should I do a Halloween but she wants Halloween so in the next few weeks you guys will have a Halloween children's play area video coming at you but you still have more fall videos that I will be posting because I will finish my front room and then I will do my living room and then of course you will have the complete house tour and I am just lighting this candle I love it so much it smells just glorious it is from home goods it is in the uh, a pumpkin scent and it just smells so so good vanilla pumpkin and then I'm giving you an overview of everything and like I said in my fall home tour, I will go into greater detail where I got everything. The lighter blue pumpkins, I painted those in my last video. Um, that big blue pumpkin is from Home Goods this year. And then all of that stuff is from Michael's past years, Dollar Tree, and then Hobby Lobby past years. And then like I said, the soap is from um, Target this year, the Magnolia collection, and then I like the simplicity of this area. I wind up taking out the orange and then adding my eat sign back up there, and then some small pumpkins, and then these um, tea towels, the Give Thanks one is from Home Goods this year, and then the regular blue colored one, that one is from um, Hobby, not Hobby Lobby. Sorry guys, that tea towel is from Target and they always have it. I'm giving you guys an overview of everything that I'm going to be use, using for my table centerpiece. Um, that flower arrangement, I made it from Walmart flowers, that tin I always have, and then Joanne flowers that I already have. This pillow, which I thought brought all of the colors together that I'm going to be using throughout my home for this fall season, that was from Home Goods, and I absolutely love it. And um, the table, my husband made it, table, bench, all everything. So I can't um, tell you where I got that from, but we brought we bought the lumber from Home Depot, but he made everything. And then that sign, which I absolutely obsessed with, I got it made from Farmhouse Sign Company, and it is perfect, and it has our last name on it, and it's rustic, and it's just it brings everything together. This runner I have had for um, since my baby shower with Brooklyn. Um, it was part of my linens and I kept it. Um, I'm just taking some of the price tags off. These flowers are not new. The brown ones are new, but I am notorious for leaving flowers on there. I mean, the price tags on there. And then the little picks that have the pumpkins, I got those last year from my local grocery store. The container that the flowers are in, I've had for years and years, and I think it's from Michael's. Um, the candle, um, holders, those are from Michael's years and years ago. And then the little placemats, I picked those up a few, like last week when me and my mom went shopping at Hobby Lobby, they were like $5, super cheap on sale in the fall section. All of these um, pumpkins I picked up from various places. So Target, my local grocery store, Walmart, all of those places I picked those up. The textured ones are actually from Target this year, and then all of that lamb's ear is from Walmart this year. It was like $2, perfect. The 
orange pumpkins are actually um, from my grocery store this year. That burnt orange color matches so perfect with my florals that I'm using this year from Walmart, which were very inexpensive. Uh, those ones are velvet. I love the three different textures and then even the texture of the florals that I have. I love all that texture that I have on my table this year. It just brings it all together. And then my place setting are just those rounds from Hobby Lobby. Um, the darker placemats are from Wayfair years and years ago. The plates are just our regular plates. I think they're from Macy's and that orange pumpkin is from the Dollar Tree this year, just a dollar. And the napkins are came in a four pack from Hearth and Hand. And I'm just going to cut off the tags for this um, pillow that is from Home Goods this year. And I just love my tablescape and it looks so pretty, so cozy, so comfy. And I hope you guys love it too. And let me know down in the comments below what kind of colors you are using for your fall. I love this pop of orange that I did not use very much of last year, but I am loving it for this year. Um, I want to tell you guys thank you so much for liking this video and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to join my YouTube family and give this video a thumbs up. It greatly helps out my channel. But I hope you guys got some inspiration and motivation to get some of your fall decor out in your home. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, this is just part one. I will have tons of fall motivation coming your way. Bye, guys. Thank you.